Mr. Uh, all right. Uh, we also have uh, former ISRO scientist V. Ramaswamy, sir. How do you, where do you see India in this space race? We see, of course, we are learning from NASA. Uh, we all ha we have our own, uh, uh, you know, recent uh, achievements as well in the form of uh, uh, Chandrayaan and uh, many others. Now we have the Gaganyaan, which everybody had their eyes on. The training of the pilot of the, of the astronauts has begun. Uh, how, how, where do you see India here, Mr. Uh, v. Ramaswamy? Yeah, yeah, actually, India's Gaganyan program is similar to any other space program. Actually, the difference between the conventional launch vehicle program as well as the human space flight program, the difference is the safety of the crew. So, right from the launch vehicle, the launch vehicle, whatever is going to carry the crew module and crew members, has to be human rated. That means the safety aspects of the launch vehicle has to be enhanced compared to the conventional launch vehicle. Of course, the maximum payload capability may come down, but still, the launch vehicle will be strengthened. Another one is uh, the uh, astronaut's safety. The astronaut's safety aspects uh, we are taking care in terms of uh, the different conditions at which the uh, crew will be under danger. For example, if the launch vehicle is going in the ascent phase, from the Sri Arikota launch pad onwards, the risk is there. So when the risk is coming or the danger is coming in the launch pad, uh, it is called, you know, the pad about the how the crew will be taken away from the danger to a safer place, thereby with the help of the escape motors. That is a fast burning solid rocket motors will take the crew module along with the crew members and land safely. Another one is uh, the different conditions of the launch vehicle. For example, maximum aerodynamic conditions, the strap and separation conditions, um, um, transonic, we call, you know, the when the vehicle reaches from the uh, a Mac number uh, 0.92.1, where the structures will undergo a kind of danger. That time also, crew safety has to be ensured. Similarly, uh, on orbit phase, for example, on orbit, uh, in suppose any danger comes, the crew may enter other than Indian coast. They may they may land in any time, any place. It can be any other ocean or land mass. So under such a crisis management, how we are going to tackle? What are all the comfortable orbits the crew can uh, be there and then come back? Then another one is the descent phase, what we talk and what we are going to see in case of Sunita Williams and Will Richmore. Uh, the deceleration system, the parachute system has to perform exactly. If uh, the parachute systems are not performing, then also there is going to be of nominal performance touchdown. So, at every case, ISRO is qualifying the systems independently. For example, Padabot scenario comes, what we have to do? If ascent phase uh, danger comes, we already qualified the test vehicle programs where the crew module mass is simulated. And imagining there is a danger going to come in the transonic, how the crew module is going to be taken away and it has been recovered. Uh, then another uh, next phase, next phase, where the in the trajectory and the pathway, Till the upper stage is performing, how the crew has to be taken care. That is that tests are going on separately. Another one is uh, the life support, environment control, and life support system is very important. That's the development of the spacesuit, the environmental control crew, cabin pressure management, waste management, human metabolism removal, and also the space food and the space sickness. Everything, even though the crew members are undergoing the training. Mm. Hmm. Right from beginning through selection onwards. Yes. There are different uh, different tests we are conducting. They they will undergo. Yes. The including night night vision testing. 